Okay, this is the Adafruit Neo Trellis, which is a super cool device that I picked up recently. Uh, it runs on Arduino, and basically I wanted something that was really compact that I could replace a bunch of my other gear with, uh, because I'm not using some of the stuff for the full functionality. Like, for example, the Novation Circuit has a chord mode where you can play notes and then assign them to a button. So I've I played that chord, and now I can play it from here. And then if I want to create a second one, then I can do. And just create a little bank of chords here, where I can easily reference them. And it's just a fun way to, to kind of store up melodic ideas and an easy way to play back. Uh, I've added a couple features for that. So I've got a transpose function. And if you're not transpose, if you're not holding note down, then you can uh, just play the note like that. And then I've got a root note. So right now it's set in C, but this would be C sharp. So you can hear that. And then I've also got different scales in here. So right now it's on uh, Ionian, I guess. And it automatically switches over your chords. So they're still the same note references, but now they follow the chord. And then the other thing I've got here is just a quick delete, so I can clear out those chords if I don't like them anymore. Um, so that's basically the chord bank. And then the other thing that I've been working on is there's this, there's two programs on here, so I made this drum program. Let me just switch over some kind of in here. So this is my drum program, and this will sync to incoming MIDI coming from USB. So I can program in steps. These are my, I have eight different voices and I have 16 steps on the sequencer. So that'll just be, if I hit play now, and uh, so I can switch here and do a snare. And then I've got a few other features like uh, I've got mute, so mute steps. So all these buttons appear different modes um, for how to interact with it. So that's the mute mode. And then this one here is the probability. So if I take this down, let me just show you on the, so this is the hand clap. So I'll put a couple hand claps in there, we'll bring down the probability. And so then I'll only trigger a slight amount of time. And then it also does polyrhythms. So if I do this, I can select the length of the uh, pattern for, now you can hear the bass drum just looping every three bars. So polyrhythms are cool. Uh, and then this one here is for, for multi-steps or micro-steps. So if I hold down a button, this is also taken from the Novation circuit. So I can enter extra steps so you can hear the bowl in there. So at lower tempos, tempos you'll also notice that it's a bigger effect. And then, so that's that one. And then this one is uh, velocity. So I can set velocity per, per step. So if I want to do the kick, have some quiet kicks. And uh, this one here is the roller. So this one's fun if you just want to do some fills or something. So whatever note you're holding down here, it'll just repeat that 
um, on every 16th note. And then this last one is just for clearing out stuff, so if I want to hold that down and get rid of my hi-hats, now it's completely reset. So it resets everything, resets the length and the probability and the velocity so that I can just enter in more steps or whatever I want. So my plan is to basically add more programs in here. Um, but so far I've got the drum sequencer and the chord bank, which is super fun. And that's, that's just the drum program. For some reason it tries to catch up with the MIDI uh, if I'm holding down that other button. But that's okay, because this is still a prototype, and the Adafruit Neo Trellis is super cool, so I'm going to keep working on that, but I'll definitely be sharing this code to anyone who's interested. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll be doing an update once I get some more stuff in here.